Hello YouTube, my name is Woodsy. Today we are going to be taking a look at Mod the Gungeon. How to install it, how to use its basic functions. I've seen a lot of YouTubers, they start to use it, uh, and they're not really too sure how a lot of it works. So I'm going to try and make this somewhat simple and short tutorial how to install and use Mod the Gungeon. Please note, however, that as of currently, the developer has stopped uh, supporting, has stopped updating this mod. The last update was, I think, all over a year ago, or almost over a year ago. So currently, Mod the Gungeon is, for lack of a better word, dead. However, for whatever reason, I don't know why it still works, even with the newest uh, uh, Advanced Gungeons & Dragons. So, let's just get right into it. So go to modthegungeon.eu. You will see this nice, pretty interesting screen. Scroll on down. You can take a look at a little the documentation that it has. Um, and it just kind of shows you like little little things that you can do. Like here's the command line. You can give yourself items, things like that. You could play as two other uh, characters that aren't technically in the game. Anyways, you go on down to mod the Gungeon installer. All releases. And then like I said, this was the newest one. Uh, and as you can see, October 19th, 2017. So just a little under a year ago was the last update. It is what it is for various reasons. The developer is currently not working on it. But uh, there is a subreddit you can go to if you are interested for any type of information with that. I honestly don't know if the developer is on there, but you can ask questions if you have any type of concerns or something that this doesn't address, uh, that this video doesn't address. Anyways, hit enter the Gungeon mod installer.exe and I'll just download it for the like 90th time. And boop, hop on in, click it, start it up. It should auto locate where you have your Gungeon installed. If not, then you can just hit this button and explore through your con uh, through your computer. I'm going to assume that you have, you know, basic computer functionality, so I'm not going to go through all that. Um, but anyways, so we have our backends and just keep the base. Uh, the old one will not work, the 0.2.0. That's an older version of Mod the Gungeon. You can go to Advanced if you want, and you can take a look at some of the, ins uh, some of the info here. Uh, offline mode is a wrapper used dot bin blah 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 you can you can mess with a lot of that stuff if you want if you don't understand what it means don't mess with it that's the easiest way I can tell I can help you with that anyways hit install it will install if for some reason you uh, end up going through all this and firing up and it still doesn't work go to where you installed your uh, your in installation of mod the, or of enter the gungeon and click on mods. Mine's currently empty because I don't have any mods installed. Uh, click on mods, delete that folder, and reinstall it. That, from what I've from what I've seen, from what I've tested, from what people have commented on my videos, that's the only way that we know how to fix it. I, I don't know any other way to fix it. It's and it's literally install. Just download it, click install, and let it run. If if that. If it's still not working on your computer, I'm sorry, but I, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Either way. So, we're uh, we're all good with that. We'll get out of that. Um, get this screen gone. There we go. All right. Mod the... Or now we are in Enter the Gungeon. Yes, we're actually in the game. So, let's take a look. Um, whenever you fire it up, the easiest way, the surefire way to know if it works, hit the tilde key. It's the little key next to the number one and above tab, depending on your keyboard layout. It's the little uh, little squiggle. Hit tab key. Hey, boom, look. There's a whole bunch of things that popped up. Yes, this is Mod the Gungeon. All right. Uh, you can't really do much in here because the game doesn't really allow you to do anything in here. You can't give yourself guns or anything. The only thing you can really give yourself is uh, hegemony credits, if you would like to do that. Um I've unlocked everything already, so there's really no point to having them anymore. But uh, I guess you could like bet things and whatnot in the game, and with the uh, dice rolls and whatnot. But either way, we're not oh, shoot, we're not messing with that. So let's get on into this. So here we are. Boom, we're in the run now. As you can see, we are our little we are a little marine. Awesome. All right, so hit tilde. There's a whole bunch of crazy things here. Wow, what is this? Well, the easiest way to do this: hit help. Type in help. It. it will give you all of the commands that you can currently do help exit it just 
exits the uh, it exits the game. Screen shake, but you can also that was actually before the screen shake option was in uh, the video or whoop, nope 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 not video uh, gameplay. Before this was actually an option, that's the only way you could change your screen shake, so that's why it's an option. Echo, uh, I don't know what that does. Honestly, I don't know what a lot of these things do. I've never needed to use them, personally. The TP, the teleport, there are... You'd, you're probably going to have to check the subreddit for that because it works in a certain way, and every time I've used the TP command, I've messed it up. <laughs> so, either way, a uh, character you can play, like I said, the, uh, the ninja or the cosmonaut. Clear? Uh, that just clears this entire... That just clears this whole console. God mode? Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can't die. Can't die, infinite ammo, super strong, all that stuff. Spawn. Spawn things allow you to either spawn uh, weapons, items, or chests. Uh, the give command, obviously, it gives you the items, the guns, the passives, all that stuff. Stats, you can mess with your stats if you'd like to. I, I don't really mess with any of them. I just have had never had any to. Roll uh, is interesting. It changes your roll distance or your roll speed, depending on testing you could skip levels and character selects and all that stuff uh dumps and configurations i'm not messing with so i, I would suggest if you're if you're interested go for it but i'm not going to uh so let's just uh let's just uh give ourselves something to kind of start this up so uh say you wanted to just have a fun overpowered run say you wanted to i don't know give yourself the makeshift cannon well you type in makeshift cannon what you, uh what you can do you type in makeshift hit tab and it'll auto fill pretty neat right uh please note that to type in anything to give yourself stuff do not use spaces you do spaces it won't work you have to do underscore or your underscore for your spaces so makeshift cannon hey look now we have a makeshift cannon hey look it's out of ammo well, that's ridiculous. We need more ammo for this. Well, why don't we give ourselves some Ancient Heroes bandanas? And yes, you can give yourself as many as you want uh, in this in Mod the Gungeon. Try not to give yourself more than five or six, because after that, the uh, ammo overflows and it gives you a negative number and you can't use the gun. But here you go. Five Ancient Heroes bandanas. Look, 1,024 shots. Man, have you ever wanted to literally annihilate everything in the game? Because if you have... Well, today's your lucky day, because you can. Seeing as the makeshift cannon is one of the weapons that breaks the DPS cap, you destroy everything very quickly. You could probably destroy... Uh, you can destroy the bosses in as little as one shot. I think I actually just uh, did that on stream the other day, so yeah. Very interesting, but it's pretty cool, right? Um, let's say you don't want to do that, but you want to do some type of money challenge well hey 50 casings let's give ourselves 10 of those hey look all of a sudden we have 510 casings interesting right uh and then you can also give yourself keys if you want there you go there's 99 keys or which is much easier uh is just give yourself the shellatin key of course it gives you curse but man whatever uh give armor 10 hey look all of a sudden we have 10 armor Let's say you want to give yourself more hearts, or heart, uh, sorry, heart containers. Uh, give yourself heart locket five. There you go. Um, to the best of my knowledge, that's the easiest way to do it. I think there's a way that you can actually change it, your, uh, your stuff in stats, but uh, it's much easier to just give yourself the heart locket, and they will all pop up on the, they will all pop up in your Ammonomicon. Please note that with this, you can still unlock achievements, you can still unlock items and weapons and all that stuff. If you are a person who is very gung-ho about doing everything 100% legit, do not use this mod until you've 100% uh, the game, because you can unlock everything through doing that. You can run through this game in record time and destroy all the bosses and get a whole bunch of achievements real quickly, if that's your desire. That's not personally what I did, I just kind of like played the game and had fun and did these. But if you want, you could absolutely wreck the game this way. Uh, all right, so we got the give command. Why don't we give? Why don't we spawn ourselves some chests? Spawn chest. You don't have to with. Um, if you're typing in item IDs, which is any weapon, passive, or active item, then you have to 
use the uh, the underscores. But if you're just trying to do a command from mod the gungeon, like spawn chest, then you don't need to put a space. But hey, look, it's not working. Well, that's because you have to type in the rarity of the chest. Spawn chest brown. Hey, there you go. That's pretty neat. What if you want to spawn in uh, the spawn chest glitched? What if you want to spawn in... Oh, that's right. Spawn chest glitched two. Oh, can we only... Oh, was I typing in that? Um, come on. Thank you. There you go. I think you can only give yourself one at a time. Uh, but there you go. Hey, you can spawn a glitch chest. I'm not going to start that up right now. Um, let's say you want to spawn in ten rainbow chests. Oh my god, you are definitely going to have a very easy run here, my friend. Very, very easy indeed. Hey, let's just ruin this real quick. Hey, there we go. Yeah, we're going to have ourselves a fun time. Yeah, more and more spices pop up, right? Very interesting. Uh, this is, to the best of my knowledge, the only way that you can actually get multiple of the same weapon in this uh, in the game. Like here, hey look. Look at that, isn't that crazy? We got ourselves the galley horn, or the exotic, I should say. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the easiest tutorial that you can mess with some of the other stuff if you would like. But I I honestly don't. There was one that uh, someone said to mess with the roll. So, I mean, I, I uh, did roll uh, distance 20. And hey, look, all of a sudden you can essentially just zip around an entire room. Pretty neat, right? There is a bunch of interesting functionality. We'll just tell you what. We'll just do the glitch test to end this out. Uh, there's a bunch of interesting functionality that you can do with Mod the Gungeon. It's just... Um, I, I don't know, like, a lot of the stuff I feel that I don't utilize, which, oh, right, well, we're doing, we're, oh, shoot, hold on, oh, I, for, I forgot that we changed that, oh, god, okay, there you go, hey, that's how you kill two glitch beholders in one go, not a, <laughs> I shouldn't have taken the spice, well, that just ruined that entire thing. Oh my god. I mean, that's funny, but that just that just ruined the entire thing. That's funny. Yep, even the spice down here. Oh my god, that's funny. Uh, anyways, like I said, you can you can decimate the game. You can make uh, challenges for yourself if you'd like. You could just do some fun and interesting runs, seeing as it, uh, Advanced Gungeons and Dragons added a whole bunch of crazy synergies. You could also just use this to test them out. Either way, um, thanks for watching. If you want to see those custom runs, then don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos of Gungeon relatively frequently. Uh, go check out the, like I said, the link will be down in the description. Anyways, thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.